His sense of civic duty to his country was second to none. This American legend loved his country. His issuance of the Emancipation Proclamation declared all slaves free across the country. He lost multiple elections and was supposed to be a private civilian, but came back because the topic of slavery was taking on a life of its own nationwide. His assassination at Ford's Theater shocked the nation with millions in mourning and disbelief. Abraham Lincoln, his life next. Welcome to History Everywhere. Today we uncover the early life of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States, and his journey as he made his way to the highest office in the land. Join us as we delve into the formative years of one of America's most iconic figures. Let's start at the beginning. Abraham Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809, in a one-room log cabin on the Sinking Spring Farm in Hardin County, Kentucky. His parents, Thomas and Nancy Lincoln, were farmers of modest means, and young Abraham spent his early years in the rugged wilderness of the frontier. Despite the humble upbringing, Lincoln's early life was marked by tragedy. His mother, Nancy, died when he was just nine years old, leaving him to be raised by his father and stepmother, Sarah Bush Johnston Lincoln. The loss of his mother had a profound impact on Lincoln. Time went on and Abraham Lincoln grew up. During the Black Hawk War of 1832, Lincoln volunteered for service in the Illinois militia, but he saw little action. Despite his brief military career, the experience deepened his sense of patriotism and instilled in him a lifelong commitment to the ideals of freedom and democracy. Inspired by his love of reading and a desire for social justice after the military, Lincoln pursued a career in law, teaching himself the intricacies of the legal profession. He was admitted to the Illinois Bar in 1836 and quickly gained a reputation as a skilled and principled lawyer. His success in the courtroom propelled him into politics, where he began his ascent to national prominence. Abraham Lincoln's entry into politics was marked by a deep sense of civic duty and a commitment to the principles of democracy. In 1832, at the age of 23, Lincoln made his first foray into politics by running for a seat in the Illinois State Legislature as a member of the Whig Party. Though he was unsuccessful in the bid, it marked the beginning of his political aspirations. In 1834, Lincoln ran for the Illinois State Legislature once again, this time successfully securing a seat representing Sangamon County. His election marked the official start of his political career, and he quickly distinguished himself as a thoughtful and principled lawmaker. From the outset of his political career, Abraham Lincoln was a vocal opponent of slavery. He believed that the institution was morally wrong and incompatible with the principles of equality and freedom enshrined in the Declaration of Independence. Lincoln's stance against slavery would become a defining feature of his political ideology and shape his future actions as president. In 1846, Lincoln set his sights on higher office, launching a campaign for the U.S. House of Representatives. Running as a Whig candidate, he emphasized his opposition to the Mexican-American War and his commitment to economic development and infrastructure projects in Illinois. Despite facing a formidable opponent and navigating a challenging political landscape, Abraham Lincoln emerged victorious in the 1846 congressional election, securing a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. His election to Congress marked a significant milestone in his political career and provided a platform to amplify his voice on national issues. During his single term in Congress, Lincoln distinguished himself as a staunch opponent of the expansion of slavery into the territories. He delivered a series of impassioned speeches condemning the institution 
and calling for its eventual abolition, laying the groundwork for his future leadership on the issue as President of the United States. After serving in Congress, Abraham Lincoln returned to Illinois and resumed his legal career, establishing himself as one of the state's leading attorneys. Despite stepping away from elected office, he remained actively involved in politics, continuing to advocate for his principles and prepare for future opportunities to serve the public. Within him, it seemed Abraham had deeply rooted beliefs and love for his country. In 1854, the passage of the Kansas-Nebraska Act reignited the national debate over the expansion of slavery into the Western territories. Abraham Lincoln emerged as a vocal opponent of the act, delivering a series of powerful speeches, denouncing the spread of slavery and calling for its containment at first. With so many things going on in the social settings and fabric of the United States of America, Lincoln began to engage with other politicians. These events led to the Lincoln and Douglas debates. The Lincoln-Douglas debates of 1858 catapulted Abraham Lincoln into the national spotlight and solidified his reputation as a formidable political thinker and orator. Facing off against incumbent Senator Stephen A. Douglas, Lincoln engaged in a series of seven debates across Illinois, articulating his opposition to the expansion of slavery and defending the principles of liberty and equality. Abraham Lincoln, emboldened through these debates, decided to run for the Senate. In 1858, Abraham Lincoln sought the Republican nomination for the U.S. Senate, challenging the incumbent, the same person he would debate, Stephen A. Douglas. Despite his compelling campaign and widespread support, Lincoln actually narrowly lost the Senate race to Douglas. However, his candidacy elevated his profile nationwide within the Republican Party as well and positioned him as a leading voice against slavery. Nationwide, the sentiment started to shift a tiny bit. More people started to talk about the slavery issue in the United States and Abraham Lincoln jumped on this opportunity. In February of 1860, Abraham Lincoln delivered a pivotal address at the Cooper Union in New York City, solidifying his reputation as a national figure and potential presidential candidate. In his speech, Lincoln eloquently articulated his opposition to the expansion of slavery and reaffirmed the principles of the Founding Fathers. At the 1860 Republican National Convention in Chicago, Abraham Lincoln emerged as the surprise nominee for president, defeating better known contenders such as William H. Seward. His election and selection as the Republican standard bearer reflected the party's commitment to opposing the spread of slavery and preserving the Union. In November of 1860, Abraham Lincoln won a decisive victory in the presidential election, carrying the majority of the northern states and securing the presidency. On March 4, 1861, Abraham Lincoln was inaugurated as the 16th president of the United States of America, delivering a steering address that called for national unity and resolve in the face of mounting tensions.